7,600 miles is a long distance to travel, but that's exactly what Dr. Samir Sumro did, from his native Pakistan to San Francisco, with the singular goal of helping patients back home. The trauma patients are from the road traffic accidents. And uh, apart from the road traffic accidents, we have bum blast and firearm injury. He, along with more than 50 international surgeons from 17 developing countries, came to San Francisco General Hospital and Trauma Center. They were here to attend UCSF's Trauma Summit, hosted by the Institute for Global Orthopedics and Traumatology, or IGOT. Our uh, thought was, well, uh, we do a good job trying to teach uh, techniques of fixing bones, but uh, we need to do a better job of helping orthopedic surgeons deal with the soft tissue, the muscles, the tendons, the skin that gets uh, damaged. Sumro and others made the trek halfway around the world to learn techniques from UCSF surgeons that could save their patients limbs and in some cases lives. De uh, dealing us with the how to transfer a technology and how we can improve the technology with our own resources. Every year, more than 5.8 million people die from traumatic injuries, accounting for 10% of the world's fatalities, more than those who die from HIV AIDS, tuberculosis, and malaria combined. Of all traumatic injury deaths, 95% occur in developing countries. Dr. Richard Goslin travels up to eight months out of the year to teach surgeons and to take care of trauma patients in underserved parts of the world. He recently came back from a two-month assignment in Lebanon, near the Syrian border. I happened to be there at the same time as there was a big fight for a city called Kusair that you might have heard of. So that fight lasted uh, at least four or five weeks, was very uh, heavy fighting, a lot of casualties, and that's mostly the people that I got to take care of. He helped train Syrian and Lebanese orthopedic surgeons on how to manage war injuries. By and large, the majority of the, of the uh, injuries we saw were actually already old and neglected injuries. So many wounds were already infected, many limbs were already gangrenous. <laughs> Whether taking care of patients in every corner of the world or teaching international surgeons in San Francisco, UCSF surgeons acutely recognize the difference their work makes on a global scale. Learning these things, certainly when I will go to my country, I will share this knowledge to my colleagues. So hopefully there's some kind of multiplier effect. And I think it has opened a little bit of a two-way street between these countries who are short on resources, but certainly not short on talent, and countries and places like UCSF here that have more resources than they can actually use and there's a possibility of a two-way uh, two exchange that I think so far has been very, uh, very uh, appreciated by both sides.